So this next video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, you can see, if you've looked at the time code, it's, it's a fair bit longer than any of the previous ones. And it's because I kind of set a bit of a goal for myself. Ooh. So we have joined the Aldrich Faithful. I now have to make it from the bonfire in that water pit all the way to the next area. <laughs> That's it. If I get summoned for invasion, I I kind of do whatever. You'll see. It goes it goes a little weird, but all I have to do is get to the next area. Oh boy. Uh, so we're in for the long haul here, aren't we? Oh yeah. So we haven't we haven't joined the covenant just yet. Uh, otherwise, I would be fucking scrambling. <laughs> And as soon as I read this, all hell's gonna break loose. Because for some reason, summoning didn't really happen a lot. Or like, invading didn't happen a lot to me. But I need to make it to this next O. Yep, there it goes. You're not even gonna make it up that ladder, aren't you? Here's the trick, and here's why this is gonna be kind of painful. Every time you start to get summoned, you're sent back to where it started to summon you. Mm-hmm. So we're actually going to see some decent PvP from me, because, wow, I am going to have so many invasions happen. <laughs> <laughs> this should be fun. I'm, I, I, I love Dark Souls PvP. But you can see I'm still using my PvE uh, equip stuff, so I am not prepared for people who know what they're doing. Whatever, you have, you have support. So Dark Spirits do help kill the host, but we can help kill each other, because we're not technically part of the same covenant. And I could hear some fighting down here. So I'm going to check it out. Oh, there's a phantom. I was hoping the dog was just kind of come and just, you know, run across the ladder there. I think both of the dogs are dead. I can see the bonfire. Hmm... But when I invade as an Aldrich Faithful, I like to be friendly. Because I know a lot of people, they don't really see a whole lot of friendly or, like, honorable whatever PvP. So, I'm, I'm looking vulnerable. The guy on the right has a ton of DLC stuff on him. <laughs> and the guy on the left is using a boss weapon and wearing boss armor. Rude. Oh, no. Oh, gee. <laughs> Some people don't want to make friends. <laughs> well. So, I, I also have to become a dragon again. So that's like a good 5 to 10 wasted seconds. <laughs> and guess what? It doesn't save your progress on ladders. Yeah, if... Even if I make it to the top of the ladder while... Like, before I'm officially summoned over... Yep. <laughs> too bad. So, luckily enough, um, I really wish I had planned this, or that I could, but these first three invasions... <laughs> they're each going to show off something completely different that can happen. So, the first one was I got killed, the second one was I was successful, but, like, didn't have to do anything. The next one's going to be something a little different. Wouldn't Shrek's waifu just be, uh, Fiona? I would hope so. Isn't that what, like, half the Shrek movies were about at this point? Did the, uh, so I actually got her name right? Yes. Okay. So, whew, wow. We got real lucky there. And go. Ah. So, hmm. Made it to the top of the ladder. Uh, we're less than four minutes into the video. What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> so this is looking... familiar, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a guy in the middle of the screen. Maybe you can see him. I've never seen this before in a Souls game. Well, that's good, because neither have I. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
So, I guess when people see that they're being invaded, sometimes they just they quit right away. Yeah. Um, especially on PC, you can just Alt F4. Oh my god. <laughs> it could also just be the servers messing up. So, aside from, and we're going to see this right after this invasion's done, but aside from being on ladders and having your progress reset, if you don't kill an enemy, it will get all its health back. <laughs> so, it takes, it takes a little while to find some people. Uh, where you spawn in when you're invading kind of tells you where people are, but if they are just running straight through the area, it's kind of hard to see the progress they've made. So if you think this video is long, uh, I had to cut out about an hour total of just looking for people. Was the health bar being hidden there? Uh, for whom? For the enemy. Like, it only showed up at the very end. It might have just been behind the pillar? Usually you can see the health bars through the environment, though. That's always how I found people. Uh, this is how I do find people here. Like, you can see I'm actually back up to where I started. <laughs> this area but I still like to mess with people like I was friendly but now I gotta look like I'm sneaking on people <laughs> so in case you're not catching that name it's Jack the Assassin oh good Jack's doing some crotch assassinating they know how to parry at least Oh, now it shows up. Yeah, it might, it might just be a server thing for this night. You can never know what you're going to get. <laughs> is is Dark Souls 3 server-based or client-based? Uh, I don't know. I hope it's client-based. Or server-based. I would imagine. Because the last thing that a Dark Souls game needs to do, especially with all the lag, is uh, do peer-to-peer. -peer. I feel like one of them was peer-to-peer, -peer, though. There's probably two. I do like that, uh, I think it's also invasions, but definitely co-op. Like in Bloodborne, you can hide that behind a password. Yeah. So it's easier to find people. Yeah, the password system was just, like, unquestionably one of the best additions to the multiplayer. So I was getting ready to clap here, because I figured this is, was about to end. Oh. It took a little bit, though. So, my rule for other players is if they can make it to the next area, I leave them alone. But if they want to fight, we'll fight. I like that rule. So, we both have, I can't tell exactly what weapon they have, but basically a very similar moveset. I think that might just be the, the Zweihander. It is also strange, like, I'm wearing no armor, and I don't know how much the dragon form protects you, like, if at all. But I seem to tank hits really well. They weren't doing a lot of damage to the Silver Knights, either. But now it's a struggle. They have one hit left. Ooh. Like, maybe two HP or so. If you were a uh, professional pvp star, you'd probably be throwing knives at him right now. Oh man, that depends on if this character even has knives at this point. I kind of just sell them whenever I get them. <laughs> but hey, one victory. Hooray! Aside from the one that I had no part in. Duty fulfilled. This was on purpose, totally. I would meant to do <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So that just made me waste more time. Because getting up this particular buttress is... It's a little hard. Oh, there, there we go. So 
So there are actually so many invasions that I can't remember exactly what happens in each of them, so I'm trying to go based off of username. <laughs> and so this one was, I'm trying to help out, but I'm not a mad phantom. And they don't have a seat of giants. Yeah, Viking is having a ton of trouble. Like, look at all these enemies. But then I, I kind of have another rule. If I have a friend and they want to fight, I might get a little dirty. <laughs> all bets are off when it's 2v1. Because I figure with like the other NPCs, it's not like 4v1. <laughs> Oh. So it should be obvious what I'm going to do because of the item that I have out. Woohoo! Yeah! Wow. That was good. I think the only the only real advantage of that attack is it's not actually a good thing to try to block. Oh yeah, that'll chew through your stamina like nothing else. Hooray! Now these claps are supposed to be for my friend, but I can totally see how that makes me look like a jerk. <laughs> That's the problem with Dark Souls gestures. It's very hard to seem like you're not coming off, uh, you know, sarcastic. It's even more sarcastic if you use the little, like, carvings. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Oh, man. Um, I gotta kill this guy real quick. Please. Whoa. Oh. oh, he died, but now his item won't spawn. He still got the souls, though. This is unknown. Uh, I don't really know much about unknown. He's pretty unknown. I heard he has a new he has a new game out <laughs> called Battlegrounds. Hello. Hey, we got some friends. Farah. So that's either a phantom or the host cosplaying as a phantom. Ooh. You know how they can be tricky. So this invasion, it gets a little weird. So where'd that phantom go? Uh, where could it, where, what happened? Where, where did the phantom go? <laughs> I, I wonder where that phantom did go. <laughs> it's almost like they knew you were recording a video. So I know I, I kind of like seemingly keep making up rules, but I don't really help out dark phantoms. They're usually min-maxing anyway. I, I feel no, uh, I feel no sympathy for them. Especially if I come up trying to be friends and we play a little hide-and-seek game, and then he goes to try to ruin it. Yeah, what a jerk. Huh? Invade by? That's not unknown. Wait a second. Is there someone else hiding out around here? I don't see any chameleon statues. I would just give anything to hear what this dark phantom is saying. Because <laughs> some of them have got to be pissed at me for not helping. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> so this person is also wearing a piece of DLC armor. Uh, actually, several. But there's one very noticeable piece that uh, is maybe the creepiest in the whole game. Face. This is like the horse mask of the Souls universe. So, they made it. They made it to the next area. Oh. It's time to help. <laughs> oh, what an accident. I didn't mean to go for him. Well, now he's definitely pissed. Well, he doesn't know yet. Now he knows. Oh.
I just feel bad about how this invasion ends. I feel like he hit you and it didn't do any damage. Sometimes hitboxes, like if you're on the very edge, it seems to not damage you. Aww. But Invade By uh, was killed and then also killed by the uh, the one guy. So we made it all the way down to here. Host is nowhere in sight. And I'm like, I fucking got this. This guy has healed like 12 times before this point. Like, I am going to win. <laughs> oh, great. This is the world we live in. If only we all had Korea's internet infrastructure. So this is also a mechanic, uh, I guess not this invasion, but next time, where sometimes the invasions just don't work, uh, but you're not teleported over first. So, invaded piss fucks? <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite invasions of the night. Uh, I don't realize how quickly I need to get over to stag fuck and piss fuck. <laughs> Because we saw a dark spirit invade, but there's maybe a bunch of people down here. Yeah. And I just happened to catch the host falling off the edge. Perfect timing. <laughs> They're probably all looking up at you like, you know, good job, buddy. Thanks for spawning me in right next to the goddamn enemy I didn't have any time to react to. <laughs> Sounds like somebody needs to get good. Look, I've parried before. I know I have. <laughs> so, what what happens with this enemy is totally not my fault, and it's totally the game. It's lag. See, that was perfect. Wonderful. So here's the thing that's going to become very important later on, is it said I was invading, but I'm not invading. So this invasion is going to fail out, and I think whether or not an invasion is successful, like, during the invasion it also has, like, a timer maybe, where it waits a couple minutes before it tries to make you invade again. Yeah. So I have, like, maybe two solid minutes here of just free time. So I can make some real progress here. You know, I just thought, did you ever, uh, give the excrement ashes to the... Uh, the graveyard lady. Um, if I did, that's off screen. Cause I don't, I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I give all the extra ashes uh, off screen. Cause only the books really like have a lot more dialogue. Yeah. I'm just trying to remember what what that actually does for you. Pretty sure you can buy poop with it. Yeah, so almost certainly. X. Grim. Come. No, I'm going to look it up first. <laughs> wow, that's a bad... That's a bad ash. It's got one good item, and also poop. So, the blooming purple moss clump for, uh... The toxic. But then it's two pieces of poop and a blue bug pellet. <laughs> But one of the pieces of poop you can throw behind you. Oh man, this is the greatest innovation this series has ever seen. <laughs> so this is like, I want to say, one of two Spear Silver Knights. And I'm considerably worse at them, on average. <laughs> I just don't know how to parry that thing. It's uh, it's hard. It's definitely hard. So, man, I'm really enjoying this peace and quiet without invading people. You're casually breaking your legs. I got the cat ring on. That means I'm like a cat dragon now. <laughs> Whoa. We really are getting into furry territory here. Yeah, no one's heard of that before. That's uh, unchecked territory on TV and art. 
I mean, it, you can't really make a punny name out of it, so there, there certainly hasn't been a lot of it. Not like, not like a drat or a kraken. <laughs> so to get that item, I had to drop down, and now I have, I'm actually oh, farther back than where I started no. a little bit. So is this the one I think it is? Yeah! Hey! This invasion gets a little fucking weird. It's already weird. So we're here to help out Solaire, who is not a giant sandworm. Uh, is it, and is in fact a real person. <laughs> uh, I figured based on where I'd spawn, uh, it's gonna take like forever to find him. There's just... There's no way. Oh. Okay, uh... Oh my god, I'm such a big fan. Uh, I need to get ready. You think I'll, you think I'll like this? He's usually into into your sort of prayer stances. Hey, Solaire, I'm just a really big fan, and I just <laughs> wanted to tell you. <laughs> so he's aware that I'm peaceful. And doesn't give a fuck... So, maybe someone else can spot it. Where'd he go? Faithful badass. Hey, badass, you see where Solaire went? <laughs> Are you not looking at the screen while you move the control stick? <laughs> so, I never found Solaire again. Uh, uh. And then that happened. He was gone for like 10 minutes. I, not, I ne never got to tell him I loved him. <laughs> oh, he heard you. He just did not care. Ah, oh, another one of these fanboys. You think he's just depressed because this area only has a moon? You know what? Almost assuredly. A moon's like a sun, just different and not the same. <laughs> Look, man, sun, suns create funs, and moons create werewolves. So, there are a couple of invasions that seem to take place primarily down here. Um, I actually really love who my friend here is cosplaying as, because now we are Dragon and Dragon Slayer. Ooh. Um, I just, I will say this, if you are trying to run from someone wearing that person's armor, he's clearly been through a really hard part of the game, but also, don't do this. Wow, that was awesome. Because I will catch you. <laughs> oh, Nordstein, I'm a really big fan, I just want to tell you how much I love you, please don't kill me though. He died as he lived. With a kick. <laughs> so I've cleared out all of the enemies around this uh, base part. If you're familiar at all with this level, you'll know I only have a little bit more to go. Uh, please don't check the time code of the video. Huh. Hmm. Vase? Vase. Oh, found oh, him. Oh, wow. Got sniped. Oh, buddy. And a friend. <laughs> so this phantom is not having oh. my shit. But I'm here to make friends, first and foremost. And also, maybe distract a phantom from the fact that his host is getting shot with giant arrows. <laughs> so, the way this invasion ends... ...is really, really shitty... ...for my friend. So... Oop. You can see his health bar on the left. He has no health. And he is trying to escape from the enemy... ...at all costs. 
What would happen if I were to accidentally get in the way? Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Sorry, Salad Pratt. So this is where it gets a little weird because they they've killed one of my friends, but do they know if I'm being resentful? <laughs> it maybe took like two minutes of them building up the the trust that I wasn't trying to kill them for them to walk all the way down here. Are you playing the long con here? You know, I might be. <laughs> like they're both wearing Solaire's armor, so I'm I'm getting that friendship kind of vibe. But also put that fucking crossbow away. <laughs> put it away. Hey. Hey. Don't. No. You you've just made the worst mistake of your life. So, this is the end of the area. This is what I was going towards and man. They're not really they're not really a fan of my slow walk speed. So just get a... If you're not familiar with this particular mechanic, get a real good look. Because... <laughs> it's gonna be the bane of my fucking existence in a few minutes. Shiny. I think I've made a peace treaty, a truce, with the Solaire cult. <laughs> and there they go. I'm not going with them to like hide anything that'll appear on screen that might spoil anything or anything. So I think, I think we made two friends tonight. That's good. Boy, that staircase looked familiar. It's stairs, man. How can stairs look familiar? You know what? You're completely right. Just think about it this way. All stairs that go up also go down. <sighs> How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Every time a staircase opens, another one closes. <laughs> <laughs> the first step of every staircase is some other staircase's last step. Damn, I couldn't even get that item. <laughs> <laughs> and something they're never gonna fix in these games? Just, just slightly floating shields. It's magnetic. It's something about a dragon spine that's very uh, metallic. It's magnetic. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Uh, mad genetics. How the fuck do they work? <laughs> Don't correct me, I know I fucked up that quote. I wasn't gonna say anything. I'm sorry I'm not in with the... with the posse. You're not down with the clown? <laughs> Is that how they say it? Yes. Uh, it depends on when this video goes up. They have a march on Washington soon that might get interesting. Oh god, I'm scared. So we saw the other people, they pulled this lever, it brought down this giant spiral staircase. If at any point on the staircase I start to invade, I am put right back to where I'm standing now. Hooray! If I get to the top of these stairs and pull that lever that makes the stairs go up, the stairs stay up. I come back down. <laughs> just gonna just gonna look at the time code real quick and uh yep. It's gonna take a bit. Hanzo. This was if I if I think it's the right one, yes, this was my favorite invasion of the night. Okay. So we have Red Phantom. We have a regular person. I'm a little intimidated. <laughs> Why are they lining up? 
What is happening? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Um. Oh play cool. my. Play it cool. <laughs> One has a huge fucking bow. I'm just kidding. Let's totally fuck with them. So the dragon torso stone does a little blast. It does no damage, but it does stun people. So let's see. Okay, that's four people that could at any point get really mad with me. Oh my god, uh -huh. there's a fifth. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? So we've been chilling for a while, and I think I've got a good read on these people. So we got... I'm getting three of them. Will they all... Will they all understand what I'm trying to do? And let's get all of them. <laughs> and the answer is yes. They all understand. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me Dead Rising 3 flashbacks. Just several people playing the exact same animation at the exact same time. <laughs> like when you help the survivors? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure these guys are not going to go on to the next area, because this this took a while to get to, but that was actually a really fun invasion. <laughs> that was cute. Okay, stairs down, gotta run. It's like stairs down, ass up. <laughs> That's oh god damn it. See, I was trying to The stairs being down is the good thing, so you can't say stairs down gonna frown. I can't think of a good rhyme at all for it. This is this is Kin Kinesa. And Kate Caitlin? I can't really read. I can't really read that with the with YouTube's compression. You can never tell who is cosplaying as a person with a real name or who is piss fuck. <laughs> so if I remember correctly here, for the most part, Kanisa is going to sort of stop fighting after a certain point. There are a number of invasions that happened uh, right in this particular area. This isn't even the last one. Ah, uh, almost. Did you see the animation, though? Yeah. He did try to mash it. So, that person, can he, or... Kate Kaylina? Uh, used an undead hunter charm to stop him from using Estus. Yeah. Ooh. Got him. Oh, that was a lady. And she's using the old woman voice. Oh wait, did I have the call over or the beckon voice? The male voices for that are so weird. <laughs> All of them are pretty weird. Okay, so stairs down. Uh, if I see in the invasion like this before I even get to the lever, there's no point in pulling it. Of course. So, you probably noticed, as soon as I saw it, I even stopped running. <laughs> like, I let go of the B button, because, ugh. You might as well save your, uh, your hand a little bit of stress. I'm a little ashamed to admit that I do use the claw method a lot. Because if I need camera control, and to use a weapon, and to use the face buttons to run, it's a little tricky. So here my friend is giving me the honor of killing Mac Muscles by myself. <laughs> Alright, thanks. T... T... <laughs> yeah, it's probably about as close as it really gets. Um, but I think this is, this is the duel of the ages. It's dragon versus knight. <laughs> uh, finally come together at last. My fucking friend is sitting down. <laughs> dragon versus knight versus pillar. That was... that was strategy. Completely intentional. It psychs them out. Exactly. They don't know what to expect. This guy could do anything at any moment. 
So I think the best strategy for a weapon like this is to have enough stamina to do one more attack than they're expecting. Just like bosses. Yep. If he had started rolling back into me, I would have hit him with a fourth attack and hopefully gotten him. Uh, it's also very quick out of a roll. Yeah. Look at me, I helped! You sure did, buddy! Yay! It is a little weird that the only times I've died is when I was trying to make friends and then trying to be cool. <laughs> okay, so no... Oh my god. There were times that night where I didn't know if I would actually make it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think I really did. <laughs> if you listen carefully, you can hear Watermelon still getting PvP invasions over and over and over. You can still hear connection disconnected. <laughs> So, I heard the sound of something dying, but I wasn't sure what it was. I think I would say that my least favorite invasions are the ones where the hosts keep healing. Yeah. If only because they tend to drag out, but thankfully this was not the case. No, stop trying to get on the goddamn giant. Ugh. Just disrespecting the dead. I try to do the, the chug method if I'm not, you know, in a really PvP hot zone like this when I see an invader. It doesn't always work, but, you know. You gotta assume everyone's gonna heal until they can't anymore. Like, wow, this is not going well for him. <laughs> Paper cut, you oh, oh, you okay? Whoa, boy. So maybe that's that death sound I heard before was just one of these NPCs. Because we didn't get a message about any phantom dying. I figured that or one of the giants or, or something. You did it! <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck was that fireball going? So things changed. It's a little more complicated now. Oh dear. I don't know if Papercut realizes that he is in a really good spot to get sniped. Because those Silver Knights will come down. Or not come down, but like shoot down here. It adds to the uh, survival horror aspect. As does dying. To take uh, 75. Let's go. <laughs> I can do this. I've made zero fucking progress. <laughs> oh man, I'm at the lever. Oh boy. And... Oh no! I think, I think by law I have to kill the peeper. <laughs> Just in case. You know what they say, oh, be careful of who you pretend to be, because who you pretend to be is who you are. And this man, or woman, is the peepinator. So I'm still trying to make friends. Hey. You know, they could just be a big fan of marshmallows. <laughs> Only during one kind of specific time of the year, and then those other ones that aren't really ever as good. Yeah. No, I'm trying to show you how cool dragons are. 
please visit my DeviantArt at catdragon.deviantart.com. <laughs> but um, for Easter this year, my parents got me a sour apple peeps. So I don't eat a whole lot of peeps. I didn't know they were adding flavors like that. Yeah. And you know what? They were pretty good. I don't really like marshmallows that much, but they were pretty good. One of my coworkers, uh, this might not be that unusual, but one of my coworkers is weird in that he will let his peeps sit out for a couple days until they start to harden, and then he'll eat them. Huh. Fair enough. So, there was a lot of healing going on. Uh, if a host heals, then I'll heal, is generally the rule. Yeah. I always let them make the first mistake. So that right there, that was the last time I heal. Just cause, like, this is going on for so long, I now have a friend, I guess, <laughs> who's totally not helping. <laughs> I mean, it would be a little hypocritical of you to complain. I, it doesn't stop me from complaining. <laughs> like, look at this idiot spamming parry. Oh, man. Only <laughs> idiots do that. Oh, Peeper. Come on. You know what's actually really good? Peeps over a uh, campfire. Oh yeah, like roasting marshmallows. Like exactly. Peeps. The uh, the outside kind of crisp uh, or caramelizes. I was gonna ask if the outside sugar just kind of falls right off. No, it it it, it sticks in. Makes a nice nice little candy shell. Wow, good good shot. Thanks, Pope. I love you. <laughs> Uh, the good popes always leave you. I guess all the popes have so far <laughs> have actually done that. One day we'll get the fabled immortal pope. You know what? It's not even worth trying. <laughs> Oh my god. Is this it? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Is this the failed invasion? Oh my god. I don't think I can express just how happy I was when this happened. Like, oh man, am I actually gonna do this? It's like a reverse, uh... Ah, shit, now I don't remember what the, the name is called. Item is called. The finger. Yeah, the old, the dried finger. Dried finger. But oh boy, and Orlando. Invading another world! Well, the bonfire is already lit, so it doesn't matter. We made it to Ann Orlando. I knew that staircase looked familiar. Oh, it's TH. TB. THC? THC. You know, THC makes the most sense <laughs> for a game like this. I'm going with it, man. Oh no, it's TBC. Oh no, it's TBC. I'm sorry. Get a better name next time. <laughs> like the weed. <laughs> Get a cooler 420 YOLO name. So, again, I really wish I had planned this, but like, this was a really good invasion to end on, only because a new mechanic is about to be introduced. <gasps> but because my HUD's not visible, I'm not gonna know that the host did something. Uh oh. Host, please try please stop messing around. I know I know you're there. <laughs> You'll never find me. We're all adults here. No, I want to be I wanna be your dragon friend. Like no one ever was. Come on, follow me. If I have to fucking show you the way. Huh, those arrows were a little weird. Yeah. Friend? Friend? Excuse me. No. Please don't do this. <laughs> See? This is what happens.
Like, dude, I am looking right at you. You have to know this by now. <laughs> Perhaps he's trying to lure you out into the open for no discernible reason. What's a Mexican standoff where someone has a weapon but they clearly cannot really hit you with it? <laughs> aside, aside from that... Look, this way, it is safer. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm going around. <laughs> hmm. Is it finally time? Looks like I've been seated. Please never say that again. <laughs> uh, read more about my seating uh, in my oh. journal. <laughs> I can't drag that demon out of car. <laughs> and it's all come full circle, folks. But at least, hey, we did it. Uh, first things fucking first. <laughs> go off this goddamn covenant. Yeah. It hurts! <laughs> May I never force myself to do something like that again. Except that I will. <laughs> well, this was an adventure. <laughs>